Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So if you're a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. I'm holding the deck in reverse. Yes. Okay. All right. Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, Devil. You are too emotionally mature to be fooled. That's how this person sees you. You're too emotionally matured. With the Ace of Pentacles here, this person definitely sees you as someone like uh, you are relationship material or you're the kind of person who will who's looking for the Ace of Pentacles kind of stability because the Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. Come on. Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person knows that they have stressed you, stressed you to the edge. Like you have literally like, like a breaking point. That's where you have reached. They know that they have disappointed you. They have stressed you. They have bothered you it's almost like this person has annoyed you got on your nerves bothered you that's how this person sees you it's like very this connection was very stressful and the reason you were taking up all that stress or responsibility is because you wanted to be with this person because you had feelings for this person but then at the end it's like everything still fell apart or this person didn't give you the due So it didn't matter. All that hard work, all that effort, all that stress for what? Yeah, three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Five of wands, two of cups. Yeah, you had a lot. Of, you had a lot of feelings for this person. You cared about this person. You had plans. You were planning the future with this person here. But it's like things things ended badly. This person feels like all the hard work, all the effort you put into this connection, but ultimately you were just disappointed. That's what this person feels. We expected some stable offer from this person with the Ace of Pentacles because as I said, this is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. So you expected some stable offer. You expected stability here. But it's like you felt uh, you felt you were the one who was doing everything in this connection. Hanged man, you see the five of cups. So this person knows they have disappointed you and they themselves are disappointed as well here. Five of wands, five of cups and the hierophant. Five, five, five there. 
we already saw the five of wands before as well. So a lot of fives here. Some change that was needed, some change you wanted to happen, but it didn't. So there has definitely been some conflict, argument, fight, drama between the both of you. And this person is disappointed. They are disappointed that they have disappointed you. They are disappointed that things didn't go the way they wanted it to go, the way they wanted, they planned it. Things could have just gone out of hand, especially if there was some sort of conflict, other people 333 there, other people were uh, got involved in this connection, other people got involved in the drama. Then it's just like things really got ugly between the both of you. Things just became bad and ugly, and this person is disappointed. This person, it's very possible some words were exchanged between the both of you that was not really good. This person said something, you said something, and now this person is really like, they're regretting whatever they have said or whatever the words were, were said to each other. That's what this person is realizing. It's like in hindsight, this person is getting your point. It's almost like when you were trying to make your point to this person, this person didn't get it. And there could have been conflict, fight, arguments between the both of you because this person was not getting it. But now in hindsight, this person is able to see things clearly and now they feel and understand where you were coming from. And that's why they're regretting being too harsh with you or being, um, you know, like someone who didn't quite understand you. So you both are disappointed. Both are, uh, this person feels that you have become pessimistic about this connection. This person could be projecting because they themselves are pessimistic about whether things are going to fix, uh, like can be fixed, whether things are going to go back to how it was. Six of Cups, yes, I miss you. This person really misses you. High Priestess could be dealing with Pisces. Very strong Pisces energy here. Yeah, the silence between the both of you uh, helped this person understand how much effort you put into this connection. In hindsight, this person is appreciating like, how you stood by them is what I'm getting. How you stood by them, how you were so patient with them, how you were so kind with them, how you were so loyal to them. In hindsight, this person is really appreciating that and really missing how much you did for this connection or how much this connection meant. Eight of cups, six and eight of cups, two of cups in the mix. There is love here, six of wands. This person might be thinking that they, like, it's very possible how things are between the both of you. The only solution is that you both need to part ways. You both need to let this go. Like, like things got so ugly between the both of you. It's almost that energy of things became so ugly. Words were said, words were exchanged. And now it's just everything is so awkward and weird and un uncomfortable to the point that you know, like one things get so uncomfortable, you cannot go back to how things were. And that's what this person is feeling or fearing. Magician, six of wands, king of cups. This king of cups very much feels like your energy here. For some of you, this person is trying to manifest success or victory. What I'm also getting here with the magician and the six of wands here uh, is for some of you, this person was someone who was very success focused. They were very focused on their finances. They were very focused on their success, on their career, on their job, business, whatever this person was doing. Very focused on that to the point that they were neglecting this connection or they neglected you. But you stood by them. This person might have, uh, uh, it's very possible this person was struggling. They were in the struggling period when you were by their side, you helped them. So this person appreciates how you stood by them. Even when things were difficult, you stood by them and you didn't let this go. But now this person is thinking, 
it was like it was good and everything was good you stood by them so how did it go so bad how did it become so ugly where did they make that mistake where were where were they going wrong this could be a very successful person you are dealing with with the six of wands and the magician or they are very success driven you know very hard working someone who will work work and work okay could be dealing with a leo yeah it's it's like you are holding things tightly and trying to make this really work but you can't be the only one who's trying to make this work right no matter how busy they are that doesn't excuse them for not giving this connection the attention yeah for some of you this is a very successful person very charming good looking handsome someone who does get a lot of attention with the six of wands here we did see the six of wands and the magician right so this person is someone who gets a lot of attention because of their work because of what they do and whatever they do they are good at it so yeah yeah six of wands yeah it's it's very possible this person because of their work or because of whatever they were doing they were giving you silent treatment they gave you silent treatment from time to time like whenever they felt like they were overwhelmed with work or they were really busy this person would just neglect you or they would just give you silent treatment they wouldn't even talk to you properly and you were very understanding with this person it's not like you just used to nag this person always for their attention Yeah, six of wands and ace of swords. Ten of swords here. Hmm. I don't know why I pulled from this deck, but okay, since I did. Hmm. Yeah. You feel like this person is someone who gets a lot of attention to the point that it's like they're too engrossed in whatever they do or the kind of attention they get. Like everything was more important to this person than this connection or than you. the world two of pentacles in reverse for some of you you are making that decision here that you don't want to feel alone when you are a commitment or connection if you're feeling alone that's that's the worst feeling you could be dealing with fixed sign star scorpio leo aquarius but you are choosing to not feel alone when you are a commitment in a connection you are choosing to for some of you with the world and the two of pentacles in reverse here you might be you you feel like there was no equal give and take in this connection the balance was missing in this connection one person was doing too much and it was very stressful it was very hurtful it was very stressful it could have taken a toll uh, on your confidence as well like you were giving so much to this connection you were doing so much for this person and doing everything here for this connection that you just you were losing yourself in this person or in this connection when one person is doing more that person is going to get very stressed 
they are going to get overwhelmed. It is going to feel very painful. And it's that energy of even though you did everything, it's like still this person was not noticing you or they, they were uh, like, you know, hurting you. Okay. Moon. Hmm. Yeah, moon. So we're dealing with Pisces Cancer. Two of Swords in Reverse, Two of Wands. Magician could be dealing with Gemini Virgo, Page of Cups, Four of Wands. Almost like someone was doing bare minimum for this connection. And they thought you're going to be happy with it. They thought like, you know, the, the kind of energy was someone who was doing the bare minimum. But because you were the one who was holding tightly to this on the, uh, like holding this connection tightly and trying to make everything work, they really didn't get like they are just doing the bare minimum. You are putting in the more effort. You are sacrificing more or you're compromising more. Hmm. Magician. Some of you feel like this person needs to properly apologize to you. They need to properly apologize to you. If they want you back, they need to make in the effort. They need to plan. Because it's that energy of you were the one who was planning everything and doing everything. But it's, it's not okay anymore. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun in reverse could be Leo. For some of you, this person is doubting if they can make you happy anymore. Like you have been disappointed or you are heartbroken or you feel you feel really so drained by this person or this connection that they this person is doubting whether they can actually make you happy anymore or not they have doubts they're not so sure about this anymore okay For 
some of you, this person is ready to offer you what you deserve. What you are looking for. They are ready to do the work. They are ready to go the distance now. But let's clarify first. Okay. Ace of Swords, Temperance in Reverse, Seven of Swords in Reverse, yeah. Queen of Cups. Mm. We'll be dealing with a Sagittarius. This person knows that things have really gone out of balance here, the Temperance in Reverse. They have really messed things up. And with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords in Reverse, this is someone who's ready to tell you the truth. Ready to make amends. Ready to come clean. You're ready for that equal give and take. Not just doing the bare minimum anymore. Because this person feels like with you not being in their life, their life has really been like thrown off balance here. Now they're understanding that you were the rock was, who was holding everything together. You were the one who was holding everything together. Now they understand it. So they don't want that. They don't want their life falling apart. They want to tell you the truth. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Equal give and take. Look at that. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person knows until and unless they actually do the equal give and take, actually show up, your guards are going to be up when it comes to them. You don't trust them. You have been wounded by them. So they will first have to try to regain your trust show to you that they actually mean walk the talk it's the energy of the six of pentacles i'm getting this is someone who's a very generous kind of a person they are generous but it's like they forgot to show you that generosity Okay. Lovers, I'm sorry if you can hear the kids in the background. Okay, the lovers uh, could be dealing with the Gemini. Mm, balance, again, I'm getting balance here. You do feel a strong connection with this person. You do feel like this is your soulmate. Moon upright, moon in reverse. You want this person to show you that you don't have anything to fear. That's, that's what I'm getting with the moon in reverse. You want this person to show you that they care. They really care for you. You need those actions from this person. Because this person, somehow they made you feel really insecure in this connection.
Let's shoot. Page of Swords, clear cut communication. That's what you're expecting from this person. That's what you want. And that's the only thing that's going to satisfy you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. You felt alone in this connection. You felt abandoned or alone in this connection. Like you were like you were the only one who was in it. So you want this person to show you that you're not alone here. They are by your side. They are by your side as much as you are by their side. You were by their side. That's what you want from this person. Because you're not that feeling that confident about this person or this connection anymore. Not feeling that confident enough to invest in this connection anymore. And you need that confirmation, that validation from this person. at that four of wands okay page of cups queen of swords eight of pentacles honest apology honest offer honesty queen of swords is a very honest person someone who communicates very clearly this person is willing to put in the work for some of you, this person is willing to like, if you say that you, like, maybe we need to go couples therapy, this person will say yes to that. And it's very possible you have said more than once in the past to this person that maybe we need to do this. Or you had some desires, you had some dreams. I want to do this. I want to do this with you. I want to go there with you. And this person always like, yes, yes, we will. But it's just an example. I'm getting this, so I'm saying it. Just an example. And this person just kept like, yeah, we will go there or yes, I will find time. But they never, they didn't find time. So whatever you say now, this person will say yes. So if you say, let's go to couples therapy, this person will say yes. Let's go, go, go on a holiday. Yes. That's sort of an energy. So this is the actions. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I try to pick up the deck here. We have the Ace of Cups. It's like this person wants to make you feel happy. Because they know they have made you unhappy. Also, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords repeated twice, Ace of Cups. Even Cancer got Ace of Swords repeated twice. And even Gemini, I think, got Ace of Swords repeated twice. And I have used completely different decks. For all the readings. Transformation. Change. Things are going to change in this connection. Things are not going to be the same anymore. Yeah. The wheel is turning. Things are going to go in your favor. Things are not going to be stuck anymore. The scales will be balanced. Equal give and take. I was trying to look at the outcome, but yeah. Okay. Let's get some oracle. Unexpected outcome, things didn't go the way I planned. This could be your energy, this could be this person's energy. Yeah, see, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. 
I feel shattered about the situation. I feel this is your energy. I feel unclear about where we stand. You might have really taken space and time to think about what you want. You feel like you are in this situation all by yeah alone. You feel like you are in this situation all by yourself, but it won't be like this forever. Things are changing here, the outcome. Yeah, some of you really uh, have become closed off. When it comes to this connection, person, situation, you close yourself off here. Hmm. You're not willing to settle down or be responsible. It's very possible this person was trying to avoid taking responsibility. That's the reason they were just busy, busy, always busy. Could be just someone who was not ready to take the responsibility, not ready to settle down, commit, be in a long-term commitment. And that's the reason why this person was just giving you excuses or trying to avoid. Hmm. Yeah, pattern of relationships, issues, bad habits, no win situation. Yeah, the truth is that you simply don't feel fulfilled. You felt very empty. You didn't feel very fulfilled by this person. This person, for some of you, they could be, could have this habit of, uh, Anxious avoidant kind of a person for some of you. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but yeah, for some of you. Well, that's your reading, Leo. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye bye.